European diversity campaign featuring hijab faces backlash. Oh, Armin, if you look in the news list at number eight, you'll see I have an image that you can show of the campaign oh. ads. I think that'd be good to look at. Um, so on it. Awesome. Uh, recently, ad campaigns by the Council of Europe, or COE, aimed at countering uh, discrimination against European Muslim women who choose to wear the hijab have been pulled after online backlash. The COE developed the campaign through the efforts of Muslim youth organizations in Europe to promote respect for Muslim women amongst, um, amidst rising anti-Muslim bigotry. Some posters show veiled women and feature slogans like beauty is diversity as freedom as is, is beauty is diversity as freedom is in hijab. Celebrate diversity and respect hijab and my headscarf, my choice. The most considerable backlash came from France, where full face coverings have been banned in the public space uh, since 2010 and amidst a tense environment as the nation grapples with, with what many top officials call Islamist separatism. The COE has removed the campaign while it, quote, reflects on a better presentation of the project. Wait, but this didn't have any face coverings. So what's the issue with this? People just, they just hated this campaign. They, especially a lot of the slogans that were featured in the images. So for example, saying, um, I think a lot of people objected to the use of multiculturalism to promote the hijab or what they say is promoting mm. the hijab. Um, like celebrate diversity and respect the hijab or, and people took particular issue with beauty is diverse beauty is diversity as freedom is in hijab. Um, so here you can see a collection of, there were many different images that they used, but these were just nine. Um, so some people particularly didn't like the images where it's a split screen and it shows a woman with her hair out and then a woman with her hair veiled. Um, they particularly didn't like that presentation. What's the issue? It. What's the problem? Well, they don't, they, they didn't like the promotion of the hijab. They didn't like the way that, um, it's saying that there's freedom in it. Um, they, people were critical of the way that this is the, this quote, celebration of diversity aspect of it. Like I said, the multi, the like use of multiculturalism to promote the hijab as they would, some of the criticism was saying, I mean, I mean, I don't like the hijab, but I don't like, that's why, but the whole idea of a promotion is that you promote something and if you don't like it, you just, you just say, you, I mean, you just don't accept the promotion. I mean, you just, you don't, they get, they still get to promote it. Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't like, I don't like juices right fruity juices i see their promotion i don't get <laughs> i don't like i don't know there are many things i don't like that i see. i don't like burgers i don't like french fries i see mcdonald's ads like but i don't get like offended i just don't i just don't again i i am against the hijab but they should be able to promote the hijab i just I, and i would just be like yeah I'm, I'm against this thing that they're promoting but they can promote it. Like what's the, what's the issue with them promoting it? I like, think yeah, yeah. they took particular contention over the fact that this is a human rights body for Europe. It receives funding from the European Union. And th this is the message oh. that, that's being put out there. Uh, so here's, okay. Now here's now one specific mixed. quote. Okay. This is to this, uh, Quote, this is to be condemned, and because of this, France made it clear it's extremely strong disapproval, and hence the campaign has now been withdrawn as of today, said Sarah al uh, Hayari, wait, the Ministry wait, of Education's changes. State Secretary for Youth. The okay, French never mind. government this... lodged an official protest with the Council of Europe prior to the campaign. Okay, so, sorry, I've, I wasn't paying attention, and this is actually the most important part. When I say what was the issue... I think the issue is that this is funded 
by the government. That's the issue. So yeah, I'm I'm now I am now I am aggressively against it. This is religious symbol. This is religious symbol is being promoted by a government body. I am no no no. I, everything is completely all the campaigns against it is now completely justified in my views. I am extreme. I am against this. I am against this well, as well. I thought and- this was just like a private like pro Islamic company just like putting up an ad talking about a job no this is a european was... human rights body okay never mind okay so, sorry sorry i was i should have paid but i am 100 against this yeah okay never mind yes this is wrong um this is this is government endorsing religious symbolism this is completely i'm against it yeah and my understanding is that i switched i um, switched sides the, <laughs> the council of europe <laughs> um does receive some funding from the EU. So that's that's an added angle of this. And given the fact that it is a body of this type, you can see exactly why France specifically freaked out the way that it did. This is antithetical to the French understanding of secularism or laicite. Like, I- inherently, they're like, we reject this outright, sir. <laughs> like, <laughs> Um, no, 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 I am, I am, yeah, I, I take France's side. I was like, why are people getting butthurt over this ad? Like, I was like, okay, never mind. Sorry, I should have paid more attention. This is government mm-hmm. funded. This is this should be illegal. This is not only wrong. It should it's illegal. This is illegal. This is government sponsoring um, a specific religion. I w- yeah, this is completely. This should be illegal. If it was the hijab or the cross or any other religious symbolism, this should be. There should be a fine. There should be an investigation. How do you use government, you know, taxpayer money to fund yeah. stuff like this? Well, and I mean, just yeah. to be clear, Gossam is saying the EU funded them. Holy crap. Well, I don't know how much EU funding specifically went into this campaign. I do know that at large, the Council of Europe does receive funding from the EU. Just to be clear. Um <laughs> Uh, quote, the Council of Europe spokesperson told the BBC the organization had taken down the campaign tweets while we reflect on a better presentation of the project. Quote, the tweets reflected statements made by individual participants in one of the group uh, work project workshops and do not represent the views of the Council of Europe or its secretary general. Um, so that was part of the problem was they're saying, is this the position of the Council of Europe? Well, what they did to create this campaign is they worked with Muslim youth groups around Europe to talk about what the hijab means to them. And so these are statements pulled from like these these kids who are like, this is what it means to me. This is what it symbolizes. This is the message that I want to imbue. And when that's coming from, um, well, I mean, it's an, it's an intergovernmental body, um, the message was received quite differently. Um, now, the unfortunate thing is that the French far right has really seized on this. Um, and there were a lot of people who took, um, like I said, particular offense over the phrase that there is like freedom in the hijab. And they're saying you're completely whitewashing and ignoring the millions of women who have no freedom in their hijab and you're it's it's complete whitewashing you know it it's 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 painting this to be something that isn't for millions of women right um you're in 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 an effort to um fight discrimination against women who choose to wear the veil you are promoting messaging that enforces the persecution of women who wish they could take it off. Right. Um, I mean, I agree, but at the same time, I think the hijab itself is not a symbol of freedom. The hijab itself is a symbol of uh, men ownership over women, (laughs) right? Uh, as a way to also separate the women you own through marriage from women you own through slavery. It is a form of slavery as well. Like when I look at a hijab, I see it like a, as similar to having chains on your slave woman. That's what is is like it's a, it's, a, it's the way in which you basically protect 
this is like hijab is not it's more about men than it is about women it's, it's, it's a decision uh, this, the idea of a hijab the concept of a hijab is a is a decision by men not by women to protect their property uh, against other women that's the whole point of the hijab right um however i do recognize the idea that even though that was the intention and that was the goal and that was the origins uh, governments themselves should stay out of like letting if if women if there are women which there are many of them who choose to wear the hijab they should be free to do so and the government shouldn't stay um i mean but but that's ridiculous to even suggest that you're free to wear the hijab because there is no government um that bans the hijab you know what I mean? Like just a simple age of not, I'm not talking about the face covering. The last one was Reza Shah in Iran who did that, the, the, the ban in hijab entirely, right? So you are free to wear the hijab. But I do recognize the importance of acknowledging that that freedom um, should be there. Go on, you want to say something? Well, they would contend that the, that what you're saying isn't exactly true because an example that they would give bring up, which I would disagree with is saying that earlier this year, the European union um, ruled that the European union institution ruled that European countries could ban women from wearing the hijab under certain, certain circumstances at work. So they're saying, look, in all these different places across the European union, we are being prohibited from wearing this. You're Government taking away choice. our choice. Okay. Well, I we have to. I can't come up with a blanket statement for each one of those. Like some of them are justified, some of them are not justified. We have to like look at them individually. I do want to. I, I do want to also think mention that the the these people are missing the whole point of a job. Like, where is it? Mm, oh yeah. You mean to not beauty. look cute? No, like look when they say yeah. beauty, beauty and diversity, the whole point, the entire purpose of hijab is to look less beautiful. Okay, when people say, if somebody tells you, if you're wearing a hijab and somebody tells you, like, oh my God, you look so good in hijab, like, okay, then it's not working. You, you if if you look good in hijab, then you need a hijab for your hijab. You need to cover your hijab with, you need a, you need to cover your hijab with extra hijab because the first hijab is not working. It's not doing its job. If you look good in hijab, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> would you like your hijab with the side of hijab <laughs> <laughs> cover your hijab with hijab fatima it looks too good there you go. anyways <laughs> um, oh that's so funny yeah <laughs> i do agree though some some sometimes hijabs do, do be looking very cute okay and that means that it's not working Okay. What do you do when some people are attracted to a hijab? Guys, here's here's a, here's an interesting thing, okay? Given that the spirit of the law when it comes to hijab, the intention of hijab is so that you are less appealing to men so that you don't uh, get them, you know, get their attraction, right? So that they don't have dirty thoughts about you, okay? If you want to do the right thing, based on this intention of hijab then if you find out that somebody is attracted to the hijab then you would have to take off your hijab when you meet men that are attracted to the hijab yeah this is a great this is a great loophole <laughs> yeah this is this is islamically this is I mean, this is my fatwa this is this Woman, is foolproof islamically this is, this is foolproof <laughs> islamically like this is like you can't you can't you know if you're a muslim woman you have to identify you have if if you find out that a man has like a kink for hijab then you are islamically obligated to take off your hijab as soon as you come in contact with those men okay anyways you heard it here first Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.